Before threading your overlock machine, you might find it helpful to first watch this video on how to do so successfully. There's actually a correct sequence for proper threading the various threads. In this demonstration, I'll also use four different colors of thread just for clarity. Once you see how each of the four threads is threaded, you can apply this same process to any of the other stitches that your machine can sew. As we go, I'll also share some tips that will help make the process go smoothly. Tip number one, raise the presser foot lifter before you get started, because this opens the tension discs so that the thread can seat properly in between them. Now open the front cover like this. You'll notice that there is a threading diagram that you can use as a reference when threading your machine. Tip number two, make sure you pull your thread mast all the way up so the threads can unreel smoothly from the spools as you sew. Place the spool holders onto the four spool pins and now set the thread cones in place on the spool holders. Tip number three, it is important to thread each of the threads in the correct order for the stitches to form properly when you sew. The correct order is upper looper first, then the lower looper. After the loopers are threaded, start with the right needle, followed by the left needle. It is important to remember that the needles are always threaded last, after the loopers. Now let's thread the machine. Starting with the upper looper, bring the thread up through this guide at the top of the thread mast. Bring it down and snap it into this guide at the top of the machine. Now bring it down into the tension disc, making sure that you see it go between the discs. This is important for good thread tension when you sew. Continue down to the looper area. Follow the threading path indicated in the same colors as those on the tension dial. Thread the eye of the upper looper. Pull the thread several inches and bring toward the back under the presser foot. The lower looper is next. Bring the thread up through this thread guide at the top of the thread mast and snap it into this thread guide. Now bring it down into the tension disc Follow the threading diagram that is displayed on the machine in this area. To finish threading the lower looper, slip the thread into this guide here and take note that it can be helpful to use your tweezer. Now bring the thread around the back side of the looper arm and holding the thread with your tweezer, slide the thread over toward the left until it drops into the slot at the far end of the looper. Thread the lower looper eye and make sure that the lower looper thread is then placed over the upper looper. Bring the thread to the back of the machine and under the presser foot. Next is the right needle. Bring the thread up through this thread guide at the top of the thread mast and snap it into this thread guide. Now bring it down into the tension discs, bring it into these guides, and up over this guide. Then come down around this thread guide. Thread the right needle, then place the thread under the presser foot and toward the back. Last is the left needle. Bring the thread up through this thread guide at the top of the thread mast and snap it into this thread guide. Bring it down into the tension disc. After coming down this channel, bring it under this guide and up over this guide. Then come down around this thread guide. Thread the left needle, then place the thread under the presser foot and toward the back. Your machine's instruction manual suggests thread tension settings for each stitch that you want to sew. Close the cover. Place your fabric in front of the presser foot. Lower the presser foot and start sewing. 